fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Asheville Bulldogs and the Northwestern Wildcats? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Wildcats are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First of all, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Conley receives the pass. And they get the turnover. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Both teams looking to get things going here. Got it down on the low block. Jumps into the defender. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Try to go inside. There's the trap. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. He gets it to go. They look to get it to the inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Russell is feeling, there's the rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Kicks it out. Clinton receives the ball. Here's a flash from the post up high. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He tries the three ball. Northwestern are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. They're really starting to click on offense. Looking for a good shot. Russell handles the feed. Off the rim and no good. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes for the deep one. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Trying to feed inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Easy one. Steal. Go up the other way. Get a layup. Jumps in. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They 
will say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up with a long bomb. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Dumps it in. Fakes a jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal with the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Dump it inside. Buckle handles the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Looking for a good shot. Fakes the shot. He shoots from left of the circle. Gets it to fall. Entry pass in the paint. Gets it back out. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He uses the shot fake. Looking for the foul. Up and in. <laughs> Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Tries to get the D to bite for the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Albert fakes the shot. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Gets a hand in the way. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. She's got a score for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We need an instant replay for this one. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart hard foul 
That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. In the paint. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now you got to get back defensively. For two, perfectly executed. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go back and watch that basket again. The Bulldogs have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They've got a player spotting up on the three. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. He shoots from long range. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the outside. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He's got a high post flasher. Pull up jumper from way out. Sinks the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Moving it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. 
Stolen away. They won't let that go. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Conley goes to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Need to make that. Snatches it away. And I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Basket falls despite the contact. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Takes the pass in the paint, and he'll kick it back outside. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Working it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. The dribble gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. You betcha. Entry pass in the paint. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Trying to draw some contact. That's good. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Got it. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Launches away. Way off target. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes the pass in the paint. Britt, he gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, but a capital A. The Wildcats will step to the line for the first time. Good. Defense! Defense! 
on the outside. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumps into the defender. That was nice. He fires from long range. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two. Doesn't go. Look at that spacing. Got an open look if he wants it. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but nylon. Spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. Oh, yes. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Great play to take that to the basket. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Opportunity for two for one. Entry pass in the paint. Thinks about the shot. Kicks it out. There's the block, and the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. The fans start to chant. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Shot clock is dead. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? around the perimeter controlling the ball they work it back to the outside he takes the three he's money with the shot with a Hail Mary he misses the bomb at the half the Bulldogs are trailing by 14 it was an interesting first half, Dick. Do you have a replay of the half in mind? There were some good highlights in that first half, but you got to look at this one. Watch how they got the ball inside for easy scores, which forced the defense to collapse, opening up the perimeter game. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. 
Northwestern filled up the scoring column with three balls, Dick, in that first half. That's right, partner, and no one really stepped out to contest him. And I'll tell you, they made them pay. They knocked them down all half long. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Penetrates and kicks back. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backs up, scores it. And he's fouled. So and one opportunity here. He'll go to the line. He missed it. Tough offensive, uh, defensive rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The deuce, the land. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Here's a double team. It's stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. The shooting guard takes the feed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The center with the ball. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Got a wide open look. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Picks off the pass. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. So important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you what, the coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get balled like oh yeah. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Pressure that basketball. Tries the three. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action.
Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Way off target. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He fires away. Scorches the net. The center takes the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. And in and out. Goes for the deep one. You bet. The power forward gets the ball. Two. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Look at this effort. There's a double team waiting there. He draws a foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Pump fakes. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Look at that spacing. Steals the pass. They work the perimeter. He takes the three. He makes the shot. That's a 7 nothing run. Steal. Transition opportunity coming up. Conley pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? At the line. First one, good. Two at the charity strike. The Wildcats are frustrated. They better be careful, or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Dick. Well, at this point, Brad, they just need to bear down and get it done. Manage their frustrations and get things going in the right direction. Picked off. Easy bucket coming here. For the bucket. Contact causes the shot to come off. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That's an 11 0 run. They switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Almost lost a basketball. 
Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. With the fake. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. They work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. He buries the shot. The Wildcats are ahead by 13. Gave it up. The point guard gets the pass. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Good fake. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively. He gambled. Fakes it. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. In the paint. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have great post play, you got a chance to really to win. There's the trap. From three-point territory, drains it. <laughs> Robs him of the ball. Tries for two. The lane. They scored seven in a row. Side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's done three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. NC Asheville are on a run right here, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Looking for a good shot. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. From beyond the arc, it's good.
Great defense. He looks for three. He hits it. His hip and I think he's holding his ground dick doing a great job I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off he grabs the board isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper he's money with a shot they scored nine in a row Off the lazy pass. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. NC Asheville have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Get back to the action. From downtown, he knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. was knocked loose but the offense got it back here's the three ball he drains the bucket looking for a good shot double team now bad angle and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot the wildcats have got to continue to get in the ball they need to keep getting the ball it's simple The dribble gives it up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Takes away the pass. For the deuce. Easy one. and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tempo game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Side. Walden draws the personal. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Sinks it. Very 
buries it. Terry look from three-point land. With a bucket. Up and in. He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Awesome, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he take great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. It around the arc from downtown. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Now they work it around the perimeter. That'll take some pride out of defensive end. for the bomb. Rims out. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Tries for two. Finger roll. Point land. Scorches the net. Intercepted. Time out on the floor. They'll talk things over. Shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they'll bring it up. Shoots. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad. And it's hanging right over the goal. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Picked out of the air.
energy are we looking at after that time out there? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He intercepts it for the bucket. The lay -in. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Looking for a good shot on the outside. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Northwestern is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.